Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn with Satish Kumar Jai Chandran and also I am welcoming you to this particular uh, series Complete Guide to React JS. So in this tutorial we are going to see the introduction in the React JS and uh, before start of this tutorial I am also going to give a brief introduction about myself, about my background as well and uh, if you are not interested please feel free to skip that and um, later i am also going to explain why i have created this tutorial and uh, what is a user driven approach is all about so those are all the things that um, i am going to explain in this tutorial so let me give a brief introduction about myself and uh, my name is satish and uh, as of now I am having a 12 years of experience in software development and still it's going on and um, over here I have mentioned some few technologies like these were some of the few things that I have worked on and uh, there are a lot of other things I uh, also worked on I didn't want to put it over here so the so the slide doesn't become so messy of all about and um, my aim is like uh, whatever the knowledge that I have gained um, I'm a person like where I want to distribute to someone else but uh, there is no kind of any medium like where I can just sit and help them in learning and hence I just started a YouTube channel and over here I'm going to put uh, each and every series whatever I have learned and whatever that is keen interested is all about and I'm also going to explain you guys only 10 minutes per day that is what my aim because I don't want to consume more than 10 minutes of your time and each and every one uh, have a you know should have a practical uh, exposure as well so that is what the main advantage of this particular tutorial as well and uh, the reason why I have created this tutorial is like uh, if you take a look at some of the tutorials which is outside each and every tutorial is cost much and uh, they won't give you enough details uh, if it is free and uh, they would ask you to go and refer in this and this site and uh, gain the knowledge like that and otherwise it won't be uh, from the scratch itself when I say scratch what I am planning is if someone a layman uh, who doesn't know what is uh, react js itself and uh, he knows something like what is computer what is html javascript if he refers my website he should be a react advanced developer like at the end of uh, viewing all the uh, videos that i have created at the end you should be an advanced uh, react js developer that's what my aim is all about and that is what i am just planning to do it and that's why i have created this tutorial as well and uh, for a reference um, i mean i would suggest you don't have to take a look at any tutorial itself or you don't have to take a look at any um, source if you just refer my tutorial alone is enough more than enough that i'll be telling you all the concepts what are all the things that is present in the react js from the scratch till the end either it goes to 500 videos or uh, 400 videos whatever it is i'm going to explain it from the scratch and it is totally free of cost you don't have to pay anything and i am not going to tell you that uh, for the advanced topic like this and this go and refer like this and all i won't be doing it because most of the youtubers right now those who create any content in the youtube they are doing it i don't want to mention the name but uh, i don't want to want to put down their efforts as well and hence i have uh, uh, created this tutorials and uh, there is a typo over there in the slide what i mean to mention is just spend 10 minutes a day that's it more than enough and uh, each and every day you have to learn one concept with practical knowledge that's what my planning is all about so enough of giving the brief introduction about myself and my career and what are all about it is a bit boring i know that even i got bored and right now we will get into the topic what is react js react js is a javascript library which is used for ui design so whenever uh, someone is asking in an interview just give this alone and uh, by give this in, by giving this statement is alone is not enough you have to explain what it is so what is javascript library so we know javascript but what is javascript library say for example if you want to bring an image in front of your web page 
at that time you will be writing some few lines of code in javascript and uh, this would be around 10 lines or 20 lines or sometimes it may be 100 lines the way the effect should look like and this is quite complex and each and every time you have to write this 100 lines of code say for example this 100 lines of code would be common and you have written some code or library that is what library is all about if you written some common code somewhere else and it is stored in a folder and this folder would be referred from the uh, active uh, programming wherever i am doing and uh, just within two, two to three lines of code i can able to achieve bringing rendering the Im image with effects so this particular folder or the contents whichever i am using right that is called as a library so react.js is one such javascript library which is used for ui design alone so this is not used for any backend language something like that this is only as a ui design we are using this react.js library and it is a user driven approach what you mean by user driven approach user driven approach is that like where you are writing a programming language right at that time when you are coding you have to keep user in your mind so that is called as a user driven approach and the react js is a component based architecture um so for example take a java programming so if you are coding anything in the java programming each and every class that you are going to write right is going to be a java class like that over here each and everything that we are going to code would be a components and that is called component based architecture and uh, react js was developed by facebook and it is still maintained by them and it is open source so it is said that even a facebook was developed by, by using the components that is nothing but the react js and uh, if you just look into your home page of the facebook even that particular web page itself is developed by 10000 components so imagine like uh, how many number of components would be there in the picture and um, there are also other javascript libraries available in uh, open source they are nothing but the ext.js angular or one such of the javascript library react js is the most uh, used one and if you just get into uh, any job website you can see that uh, react js is the one like which is mostly asked by many companies that is because of its user driven approach and uh, one more thing i just want to keep wind i mean uh, keep you posted before winding up this is i want to explain you by uh, showing some website and uh, uh, i also want to tell you like i mean how the web page of the react js uh, is uh, been looking like that you can also open a facebook and um, uh, for here like uh, what i'll do is i'll uh, open one of the sample react js website and i'm just going to show you like how it looks like so i am opening this website react.rocks which is being developed by the react js this is one such example so over here you see the website right so in this website each and every component this one is a component actually this one is a component this one is a component like that so when you are getting to this website it is bringing all this component it is shown over here and inside this also somewhere else this particular components can also be used the reusability is there so once you click on the component this would be open and which is another component so react js component react js is something like user driven architecture which is built on components like this so this is one thing i just want to keep you posted and thanks for watching please feel free to subscribe in the upcoming tutorials we will get into practical knowledge and gain some practical knowledge on it over here i just want to keep you posted like so with some introductions about this series and introduction about react js and about myself uh, that is what i want to achieve over here and i'll make sure each and every day you just spend only 10 minutes Maybe at the time of uh, installing and other things and all, it would uh, consume more time. But apart from that, you just have to spend only 10 minutes a day. You will learn each concepts, even including practical knowledge about it. That's it. Thanks and have a nice day.